it's so cool to look back and see how much we have done this year. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get started. I'm Duca. And I'm Roberta. And, and together, together we, we are building, building our, our own time shipping container, container house. house. So don't forget to subscribe. And to join us every Monday for a new episode. Well, in 2017, we bought a shipping container with the intention of building ourselves our own time shipping container house. And the idea of cutting and welding a shipping container without any prior experience made us believe that 2017 would be the most challenging year of our lives. And then came 2018 and the challenge just got bigger. Well, we started the year on January 1st with both sides of the house welded together, with our entry door in place, with no lids on the roof anymore and also with all the windows installed. But we still had a lot to do before we could move in. The first project of the year was to install these balcony doors. Well, this was a huge milestone for us. Finally, we had a house that didn't rain inside anymore. But we still had one problem. It was middle of summer and it was so hot inside every single day. So we decided to move out and to start building our roof system. Well, many people think we have over-engineered our roof. But to be honest, even though it was really hard to work during the summer on the roof, we don't regret at all. Since then, almost one year went by and we had no condensation on the ceiling during the winter and also no heat transferred to the ceiling on the really hot days. And with that, we also solved the biggest concern we had since day one, the water drainage on the top of our shipping container. With all that checked on our to-do list, it was time to move inside and start framing the walls. But before we finished the walls, we actually needed to do all the welds we have planned for the shipping container, otherwise the weld would burn the insulation. So we welded the brackets that will support the future wooden breeze, the brackets for the balcony roof, the brackets for the canopy, we welded a structure for the green wall we will grow on the east side of the house, and before we moved back inside, we also painted the south wall of the house. When it comes to a shipping container house, condensation is one of the main concerns everyone has. Insulating the walls properly for sure helps to prevent this problem. Not necessarily building is the hardest part of the process. Sometimes the challenge part is to come up with a solution and also to choose the materials you're going to use. And this was one of those times. Well, there are so many ways you can frame a shipping container house and also so many ways you can insulate a shipping container house. But at one point we needed to decide which solution we were going to use. We decided to go with metal framing and for insulation we used aluminum foil with EPS core. For the ceiling, we built plywood panels with white laminated. We always loved the look of exposed wooden beams. So to support the ceiling panels, we decided to go with this solution. For the walls, instead of dry walls, we decided to use plywood and we paint them white. So the house seems bigger and the window wooden frames could pop out even more. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, we also built wooden frames for the windows. Don't they look good? In 2018, we also built our entry door canopy. This time, we had the idea of trying out this method called ply glass that's basically plywood with fiberglass and epoxy resin. Well, that was a lot of work. But for sure we ended up with a canopy that's really, really strong and that's gonna last for a long, long time. We also installed a beautiful lamp next to the entry door. At this point, we pretty much had a house, but we still need to run electrical wires and to install the plumbing system. But we were so anxious to try to build some furniture that we decided to change the schedule. Instead of the plumbing, we decided to build our first piece of furniture ever, our wardrobe. In my opinion, when we build something, there are so many factors that influence the quality of the final product. Of course, experience is on the top of the list. Someone with lots of experience can achieve so much with so little. But experience is not the only factor. For sure, quality materials and also good tools help a lot on the challenge of building something with quality. One thing I have never thought about is that the environment also helps a lot. Having a good space to work makes a huge difference. Not just in the quality of the work, but also on the speed of the work. And I think this was one of the main challenges this year. To work in such a small space with so many tools and scrap pieces of wood laying around. Of course, sometimes we wish we had a bigger shop. But at the same time, we can't complain. Even though our shop inside is really small, at least we have somewhere to work when it's raining. And outside, the place is really big. So we just need to be thankful for being able to, you know, take the time and to try whatever we want to try. It's just like, you know, to come here every day. And if we feel like doing something, we just do it. If it's wrong, we do it again. If it's good, we repeat. 
and that's so cool because we have learned so much this year, and so the much. Fun, the fun part is to share all of this with you guys, yeah. because we are learning a lot from you. Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't be the same if you were not there. And it's really fun to read all the comments and everything. Yeah, so that always thanks to them. Yeah. You guys, you are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> honestly, you guys are awesome. Just. You're always there when we need help, when we need devices, and it's just really, really cool. And we want to uh, to give a special thanks to all our patrons. Yeah. Without our patrons, for sure, at some point we need to go back and work somewhere else and make some money so we can keep doing what we're doing. Because involves buying new cameras and fixing equipment and all that. And the patron support is just a huge, huge support to make us going and to make sure we are only working on this project. And it's not that working outside of here is bad, but if we can concentrate and put all our attention and all our effort on this project, we learn so much more, we create so much more content, and it's good for everyone, you know. It's we just can do our best. Yeah, yeah. We, can, we, can, you, we can really focus on this and not think about something else. And that, I think we learn so much more. Thank you guys, you are awesome. But don't forget that not only patrons support us. Yeah. Some people send us equipment, some people stop by to help, and we are really, really thankful for anyone, anywhere that somehow supported us. Yeah. And Anything else? We have some facts, actually. True. We have Good uploaded facts. 52 videos this year, 53 with this one. Yeah, that's so cool. And we have over 14 hours of video uploaded. That's a lot. Yeah, our main goal this year, of course, one of the goals was to keep building the house. Yeah. But the main goal was to keep filming and to have one episode every single Monday with something that someone is willing to watch. <laughs> and we did it. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, if you go to a film school, you probably should, what, two, three short films in one year? We did 52, 53. That's a lot. And that and that's makes us learn so much. Yeah. And that's, we're, uh, no words. We're just talking too much, but <laughs> really, really thank you for that. Another fact, the, the family, the odd family is growing. In the beginning of the year, I think we had like 5,000 subscribers, subscribers so. and now we are getting to 32,000. 32,000, yeah, that's really, we're really proud of the huge family that's growing around the channel yeah. and the community is so cool, you know, some people, we never seen some people, but we talk to them through messages every single week. Yeah, it's really cool. S some people like Paolo. Paolo has been writing <laughs> yeah. like for so many months. That's so cool. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to stop saying names because yeah. someone might get mad. But we know you guys, people that write comments every week. We know you and we feel like we really, really know you. And that's yeah. really, really cool. Just thanks, thanks for the support. Well. That's really, really cool. Yeah. And 2018 is over, but we have a lot of new plans for 2019. Yeah, we have a lot of new projects for 2019. So if you are not subscribed to our channel, just subscribe. It's yeah. really quick. Yeah, just click somewhere down there. And it's click on the little bell. Don't forget the little bell, yeah? Yeah, yeah <laughs> just, you know, if you like the content. If you don't, you don't need to subscribe. <laughs> but if you like the content, just hit that subscriber button and just leave us a thumbs up. Support the channel a lot. Yeah, it's, yeah it seems like stupid just asking for a thumbs up but somehow the algorithm of google helps the youtube algorithm just One helps more when time you he's talking a lot <laughs> yeah like usual yeah just so get used to it if you subscribe <laughs> to the channel you're gonna listen to me a lot a lot so i guess we see you guys next year yeah see you guys next monday in 2019 yeah. see you guys next see year guys. take 135 <laughs> Random numbers. <laughs> we always liked the look of the laminate. We always liked the look of the wooden. We always liked the. We always liked the look of the exposed beams. We always loved the wood. We always loved the look of the exposed wooden beams. We always loved the wood look. We always loved the look of exposed. It's so hard to say that, babe. Come on. We always love it, the look. <laughs> you can't be silent, babe. Say me? Kind of. One, two, three. Bye. Take five.